and they think that beauty pageant girls are all just empty vessels with no brains. Beauty pageant is really more than just like looking beautiful and strapping yourself. It's more about the journey to get there. I truly believe every girl in this world is beautiful. It's how you want to package and brand yourself to others in such a way that your self-image is aligned with the way that you portray yourself. Hi guys, good morning, Jennifer here and welcome back to my channel. So yep, as you can see from the title of this video, this door right over here is joining a beauty pageant! Oh my god guys, I'm actually so 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 nervous and excited to announce this. Like, I haven't even told my parents about it. Like so far, I've only told my sisters and my closest friends. Like I never even told my brother because I don't know, it's kind of weird and I don't know how he's going to react and I don't want that unnecessary pressure or anything. So yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell or I don't know if you guys know. Um, but yes, I'm basically quite a conservative person. Like, I grew up in a very conservative and traditional Chinese family. I've never even worn a bikini in my life. So until now, I'm like, why did I sign up for this? But um, I guess I just really want to challenge myself and push myself out of my comfort zone. Because as you can see from my dwarf picture right over there, I grew up being the shy, quiet kid. Um, I was a little bit nerdy, definitely an overachiever, <laughs> and a little bit of a people pleaser. So all my life, I haven't really shown who I truly am. And I'm just chameleoning my way through various different groups of friends and things like that. So I guess I just really want to show everyone who I really am and just put myself out there, challenge myself, you know? So that's the first reason why. The second reason why I decided to join the beauty pageant is to really challenge the notion and the image that people have of beauty pageants because whenever I meet new people or new strangers and they ask me like, oh, what am I doing currently? Like, what am I up to? I will always tell them like, oh, I'm joining a beauty pageant and they'll always give me this kind of surprise slash mini judgmental look. So it's like, oh, Mm-hmm. What made you want to join the beauty pageant and things like that? Um, it's very very subtle of course and not everyone has this reaction But I would say some people do have this like negative association of beauty pageants and they think that beauty pageant girls are all Oops and they think that beauty pageant girls are all just empty vessels with no brains and they only know how to strut their stuff and look pretty. But clearly that's not the case, okay? In a beauty pageant, we have so many different segments. Firstly, to look beautiful is an effort. It's a skill in itself, okay? Like, do you think this comes natural? No! Like, guys, I truly believe in this statement. Like, there's no such thing as an ugly woman, there's only lazy women. I truly believe every girl in this world is beautiful. You just have to know your features really well. You have to know yourself. Beauty and visual packaging is basically personal branding. It's how you want to package and brand yourself to others in such a way that your self-image is aligned with the way that you portray yourself. So that is also what I'm trying to learn in this beauty pageant and I hope to share these kind of tips for you guys. I hope it's not too much guys, but yes, I can be like really passionate about these kind of topics. Like I love deep talks and stuff like that. So. But yeah, and secondly, okay, for the beauty pageant, we also have a talent show component, okay? So we're not just empty vessels with no brain. We also need talent, as the name suggests. So personally for me, I'm a huge performing arts junkie. So I really love singing, dancing, playing piano and guitar. So I will need to think about which one of these I will want to showcase in a beauty pageant. But likely, I'm going to go with singing because I like the ability to touch people's hearts. <coughs> Sorry guys, I don't know why. <laughs> I guess I'm talking a lot. My voice, hold on, let me get some water. <laughs> my voice is turning raspy. Okay guys, I'm back with my water. Oh my god. Where was I? Um, 
talent show, right? Yes, so we have a talent show component and I'm such a huge advocate for performing arts because I believe that it builds confidence in everyone. So for example, dance, like just looking at yourself in the mirror and practicing the dance moves, some people are shy about it. They're, they're shy to look at their own reflection. So I think by being able to dance and practice dancing will really help you in loving yourself and then having that confidence to show and perform in front of others is also another confidence booster. So performing arts can really build your confidence. And then secondly, performing arts is also a healthy way to express your emotions. I don't know about you guys, but for example, for myself, I'm not the most like, um, how to say, like I don't really share my struggles with people. So whenever I'm having a hard time, it's just so therapeutic to be able to play the piano and like convey the sad song through the piano or like being able to sing my heart out when I'm, you know, facing a struggle. I think it's so, so, so important to be able to channel your emotions and your um, feelings in a healthy manner. So yeah, performing arts can definitely help you with that. So, okay guys, I feel like I'm writing an essay here, okay, but I have my last point, okay, about beauty pageant. The last one is the Q&A segment, okay? You know the Q&A segment? There's so many curveball questions they can ask you, and oftentimes it's very general, broad-based, current affairs, opinion-based kind of questions. So firstly, you have to be intelligent enough to be aware of what is happening in this world. Secondly, you need to be able to analyze different points of view and come up with your own opinion. And thirdly, you need to be able to convey that opinion and thought in a coherent and articulate manner. So yes, guys, it's not as easy, okay? Like I bet half of you do not even dare to speak in front in public or like do not even dare to go on stage. So. So if you can't do it yourself, don't criticize others when they're trying to do it, okay? It's not as easy as, as it looks. Okay, okay guys, I think I'm done with my rant. Oh, oh my god. But yes, all in all guys, I'm super duper excited to be joining this beauty pageant and I can't wait to share my journey with you guys and also share with you guys the things I've learned along the way so that you can benefit from this journey as well. And I just want to thank ERM for giving me the opportunity to participate in this beauty pageant. If you guys want to support me in one way or another, you can support me by donating to the charity that we are advocating for, which is Singapore Heart Foundation. As you guys know, I'm really passionate about health and currently I'm watching my nutrition much more and I'm exercising in the gym as well. So I can't wait to share with you guys more tips on how to be healthy, how to safeguard your heart and things like that. So yes, thanks so much for watching this introduction video and see you guys next time. Bye. But yes, my point is beauty pageant is really more than just like looking beautiful and strutting yourself. It's more about the journey to get there. It's about a self-discovery journey. It's about a personal branding journey, your personal story. It's about challenging yourself out of your comfort zone and putting yourself out there. It's to raise awareness and advocate for kinds of issues that you're passionate about. 